Okay, so, um, hi, I am doing, like, just videos, um, I tie them off right now. If you don't realize, I'm in a different spot than I usually am. I'm usually, like, over here, but, um, we got rid of something in here so I can move my desk over. Um, and what I'm going to do is, sorry, this is probably a better representation. Um, I am going to do a video on planner organizing. I don't have a planner with me right now because um, I figured out my planner, but I'm going to show you basically, I'm going to tell you or show you, like for instance, if you write in a notebook, this is a 90 sheet one, so you need three of these to go through the entire school year, give or take. And yeah, so I'm going to get started. So um, if you are using a planner provided by your school, um, what you need to do is I have pens and I write in I write in pen in my planner and, and like let's say like this is what I'm let's say this is what I'm writing right and then I put a check mark right next to it and there'll be like a line here for the next day like it's better than that but um and then when I'm done I will check it off and I will also highlight it which is why I have a Sharpie Accent hot Blue Highlighter. This is only for my agenda. I do. I will get yellow highlighters, so I will do a supplies haul as soon as I get my letter. Because my house school does, does actually tell us what we're supposed to get. Yay! But, I mean, that saves one less thing. I also can write in Sharpie. I do that for my arts classes or something I need to do. I pink Sharpie, which is my brother's that I stole it. Someone asked why he has a pink Sharpie. I don't know. Okay, so that's basically it. And if, and you highlight stuff that, you know, if you have to study, make it one color. If you have to work with a partner, make it another color. Don't put it all in one color, because it's all going to be like, it's all yellow. Crap. Like, highlight it in different colors. That's why I have, like, three to four different types of uh, highlighters. And my school gives us planners that have, like, little boxes for each subject. And it goes, like, down. So, um... I usually just highlight those off into like little squares. And now I'm going to do the fun part. If you have a planner and you use, for every day you use a page, and you have a 90 sheet one like this, I'm going to do it like this. Um, first off, you write the date, so I'm just going to pick a random date. So I write October 10th. Right, if that's the date that is set. And then you write your class. So let's say English is your first class. Write it in the um, order that you have your first class. So you can do it like that, straight after. And then you take a pen, and let's say it's write an essay. So you write when, what it is, and how long. So that's how I do it. Then you do your next class period. And I'm using Excel for this. And let's say it's math. Like it may be like algebra, but I say math. Math, English, social and science. Simple. And let's say you have page. Page dot dot dot. Well, number. So page number. And you write like evens or odds. And, I'm sorry. Well, hi, work computer. Sorry. I hope that didn't show up in there. Um, then, in another column there, you write science, or SS. I'll do social studies. And you have vocab. They have red and blue words. Um, red is in the introduction page. Um, I don't have a book to show you, because obviously school's out, but the introduction page has like little red words, so you write it there, and then all the other ones is blue words, and that has a vocab term on the side of it, so like, let's say this, this is the page, right, there's writing, 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 and then, like, let's say, for instance, it's up here, and be like, sectioned up in a better box than that crappy box, and I'll say, like, the word, 
and then look at the definition. So, I mean, that's blue words, so it's easier for me to do blue words than just do red words, because then you have to look in the index. So, vocab, when you write red and blue words, you write all. I don't know. And then, I have one problem, and that's I don't have of colors right now. So, I mean, you need four colors if you're doing it with a planner. Three if you're doing it with a planner given to you. Well, depending on, um, I give you takes, what, what my school does is we have all the four basic classes, English, Math, Science, and Social Studies. And then we have one vocational class, or we have multiple. I don't know how many we have. So I would need a lot more colors when we're doing it this way, but I'm not. So we supply planners, which is so good, so you don't look so anything in them. And science would say you have to do, like, lab report. And you, obviously this is, like, not supposed to be in this color, because I'm too lazy to read. But when, how long, and all that junk. If you have Spanish, I don't know how to do Spanish stuff, uh, you just basically write it. If she says, as my 8th grade Spanish teacher did, if she says it in Spanish, write it down, translate later. That's what Google Translate is for people. Okay, um, so that's basically how to organize your planner. Um, if you don't do any of that, you just keep it in your head. Um, if, it work, if it's worked for you and you've gotten all A's, keep it. If you haven't gotten all these, you keep it in your head, and you've gotten B's, change. B's, B plus is in lower, A minus is even. Anything. Just change it from going in your head. Because I did that last year. I, I mean, like, I wrote it down, but I didn't write it. Write it. Which is why I had a whiteboard that went inside my, um, uh, what's it called? My locker. And I would have done the homework there. But, um, definitely write down in a planner. So, yeah, that's the end of my video, and hopefully that organizes your planner. If you already get them, if you're already buying them, hopefully it organizes your planner. Okay, bye.